Unbeknownst to many students, USF has a quiet retreat located right here on campus. I took a break from my busy schedule to figure out what all the buzz was about. The Botanical Gardens here at USF were established in 1969 and attract about 35,000 visitors annually. Home to over 3,000 types of plants, animals, and natural habitats, it takes a whole team of people, from volunteers to interns to USF staff members, to keep the gardens in tip-top shape. Diane Ferris has been volunteering in the gardens since 2015 and was happy to share about what she finds so inviting about this vast escape. You can just walk through and it's so peaceful and just look at all the nice things that are here and the volunteers have, have done such a good job and it's just a qu nice quiet place and it's beautiful. The gardens offer lots of resources for both faculty and staff, and even have space for students to grow their own vegetables. We have um, uh, programs where you can learn how to plant things and grow things that you wouldn't be familiar with, and they have um, bee uh, programs where you can learn about bees and set them up at home if you want to. Curiosity led Diane to the gardens four years ago. Um, I just like to garden and I um, was familiar with the area because I live not too far from here and uh, I think it's um, just a good place to come and relax and see things and it attracts a lot of attention and tourists and I just think it's just a nice place. Alex Garcia works at the gardens as an intern and although it keeps him busy, he loves the time he spends here. I definitely like the area back there near the medicinal gardens because that's where they grow all the fruits. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I like to go over there and pick up some of the mulberries and uh, the star fruit. And when the lychees come in, that's when it's going to be really nice. Whether you're looking to volunteer or simply take a break from things, with 16 acres, the gardens have something for everyone. Not many people on the USF campus even know about this. And it's valuable just because of all the research that goes on here. Because not only is it botany stuff. We have biologists in the back, we have uh, beekeepers who uh, do classes here regularly, a whole bunch of different stuff. And people who aren't even students come here for events. And of course students get a discount when they come in. They can walk around, see all the trees, all the plants, especially now in spring when they're actually blooming. Both Diane and Alex hope to see students' involvement with the gardens continue to blossom. From a volunteering standpoint or internship standpoint, I would recommend it just because it helps you get into the scientific process. And other than that, it helps you interact with other people, gets you really used to yard work, or if you find a passion in botany or any kind of gardening, then this is the place for you.